So welcome to our session. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, we are a startup company, Osintec, from Kobe, Japan. And we really uh, appreciate this opportunity to be part of COP26, Japan Virtual Pavilion, and to be a part of solution for tackling climate crisis. And we thank all of you who participate in this session and who will be watching YouTube, also who will be watching the archive. Uh, before we start, I would like to give you some introductions on how to use this pavilion effectively. Um, first, freely put your questions in the chat. Uh, me, Chie and Masato, our CEO, will be presenting our service. So to either me or to Masato, you can chat your questions and we will answer them as much as time allows. And as you may have probably noticed already, the main screen is smaller. So click it to make it bigger for your convenience. And last but not least, our booth location is uh, behind you in the coastal stage. So after the session, our colleague will be waiting for you there. So please visit us. So I will be briefly explaining our service through Watcher and Masato will later show you the actual demonstration screen. And we will be focusing on climate mitigation and themes such as, um, such as hydrogen energy or carbon market. We will show you later on. So, yeah, Rule Watcher, tackle climate crisis with technology and human wisdom. I'm Chie Takahashi from Osintec Global Relations Team. Nice to see you all. So for climate crisis is our problem. Is it happening somewhere? Isn't it your business? Is there a planet B? Unfortunately, no. This is a worldwide issue affecting all of us beyond borders. Japan is no exception. Nowhere is an exception. And who did that? We have damaged the environment till today. So what shall we do from now on? We build Rule Watcher as a solution. Rule Watcher is a web platform where global citizens can discuss and act upon vital information. This is a social think tank, in other words, and we are aiming for that. So what is Rule Watcher? Here, you receive updated and primary information currently on climate-related matters, such as biodiversity, circular economy, ESG investment, climate adaptation, mitigation, so on, and ones with human rights, such as supply chain, every day from those such as governmental bodies and NGOs. And those data are collected by automated program, and it's all visualized in one format, which means however the website seems, um, you can you can easily find what you're looking for. Currently, we cover 500 plus information sources, including governmental bodies like Parliament, Congress, UN bodies, major NGOs, initiatives, funds, and already 400,000 plus articles are stored in our database, which includes, which includes um, minutes, press releases, important announcements from governments, and it's all translated to English, no matter what language they were. And it is customizable for your own needs, because we understand that you all have different motivations to visit our service and look for your information. So it could be issue based. It could be keyword based within the issue you want to dig in, or it could be organization based because you may have specific organizations that you're looking for for your daily routine so it's customizable for you and we also offer variety of analysis function suitable for strategic branch of enterprises or data scientists think tanks and academics and masato will show you later these actual screens by using this all english issue based and already focused information source you can save 90% of the money of research tasks. This is an opinion of a think tank who is our who is our user. And we have our uniqueness here. And we have open strategy. 
our data source is 100% open to you and it's all you can look at it anytime and it's been constantly improving in collaboration with researchers and citizens and who are rural watchers and we have duality although our service is based on the latest technology we also build original thesaurus and the intelligent crawlers and we don't include media information we don't uh, accept capital except social because to guarantee our neutrality and we are rural watchers and who's next so lastly i would like to give you a summary of why rural watcher is beneficial for you for ngos you can collect information effectively for advocacy for the evidence-based policy making which is getting more and more popular these days and as as i explained you can reduce manual work which means you can save your precious budget and you can enhance social impact by connecting with other people i'm saying this because we are going to glasgow cop 26 from tomorrow and bring back more citizens to collaborate and while you watch out for enterprises you can collect reliable information for companies environmental strategy and duty because these days you have a lot of duties and they have to know climate disclosure, how to think about supply chain, you have to know the trend of ESG investment. Let's make those risks to be an opportunity. And you can also have your own, own control by using technology, not relying on consultant services. It differentiates you one step farther and faster. And of course, we offer a secure and closed environment, just to mention a few. So let us show you the actual screen of Rural Watcher. Okay, <clears throat> so now uh, let's see the actual screen of the rural watchers. Yes, like this. Uh, this is a kind of SNS, but uh, the difference is here. Uh, here, rural update spaces. Uh, so Masato, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, really? Ah, yeah, now screen comes. Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm. So this is an actual screen of the rural watcher. So the and difference from normal SNS and rural watcher is here, this rural updated spaces. Here, there is some things like climate mitigation, uh, microplastic, later I'll show on uh, water issues, biodiversity, circular economy, uh, beyond capitalism, uh, this is uh, related to new capitalism or uh, those kind of uh, social security, etc. And universal human rights. Uh, recently, uh, this theme is very important for uh, ESG management and ESG investment, etc., etc. So uh, today, uh, I'll show the climate mitigation theme of this rule watcher. <clears throat> Automatically, a uh, rural watcher will post those articles every day. So those are uh, from uh, the first hashtag is from USA, uh, from country, which country, which area. And second hashtag is uh, related to the uh, organization type. And third hashtag is the uh, short abbreviation of the uh, organization. So the first article is USA's White House. And following hashtags are the topics uh, related to this article. So this article related to COVID-19 on subsidy and re related to tax and carbon market still. So those articles are collected. And second one is also from White House related to Paris Agreement and best practice. Third article is uh, Indonesia, from Indonesia government. And uh, this is a uh, <clears throat> government name. So uh, related to Paris Agreement and related to gas. This is the agenda to be discussed at the G20 summit. Of course, uh, this is Indonesia's information. So uh, the original articles should be uh, the Indonesia, Bahasa Indonesia, 
Indonesia language, but uh, in our system, Rule Watcher, uh, those information would be translated to English like this. And uh, here uh, we extract uh, the main keywords, and if there is a main person name, uh, we extract also. And if there is a uh, place name, we extract also. And those are uh, <clears throat> the organization name. So uh, those kind of information uh, we post automatically. And following this, uh, this is UNEP, United Nations <laughs> Environment Program. And EUC, <clears throat> EU's lawmaking, EU commission. <clears throat> those uh, information will be following. So uh, if you notice that uh, this information is important, in that case, and just click like this, and you can refer this information later. <clears throat> so this is a, a basic scheme of the Rule Watcher. And based on that, uh, you can discuss in a, a discussion forum spaces, etc. So let's dig into a climate mitigation situation more. So uh, I will uh, access to the advanced analytics function. So climate mitigation. We have a database uh, of uh, what each entity is like UN related organization or government organization or official NGO organization, uh, what they are saying now. So we are monitoring those information and uh, this chart shows latest 150 articles trend. But uh, at first uh, shows international situation related to the climate mitigation. So uh, I will focus, uh, okay, at first uh, we will filter to the China situation. <clears throat> and here is the latest 150 articles published from China, um, China area. So uh, companies to ensure supply, uh, green finance, uh, committee members, uh, belt and road, natural protected area. So uh, those kind of China situation, uh, we can ana analyze and food loss and waste. If you are notice that uh, what is food loss, uh, loss and waste, in that case, uh, we can drill down. So this is the article. <coughs> uh, Ji Bing Guang uh, reads the uh, congratulatory letter from President Xi Jinping and delivered a speech. <coughs> so those are the uh, summary of this article. <coughs> uh, of course, uh, these or original articles are uh, Chinese, but uh, by translating uh, every language to English, uh, we can analyze the international situation. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, by adapting those kind of filters, uh, we can analyze the each country's situation. And if, uh, for example, if you are uh, very interested in uh, TCFD in that case, okay, and task force for climate uh, financial disclosure. <clears throat> uh, those are the uh, trends related to the TCFD. Mm. So uh, by same way, uh, you can dig into details like this. <clears throat> Okay, let's move to the uh, next analytics. <clears throat> so uh, this is a, a trend heat map analysis. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> at first uh, I will adopt some filter. And for example, uh, if we filter to the carbon market, Carbon market tag is uh, automatically uh, 
tag based on our analytics thesaurus. And you can observe that a uh, carbon market discussion is uh, spreading from uh, European countries to now all over the world. Mm. So <clears throat> those are the analytic re result. Mm. And of course, if you are the uh, <clears throat> researcher, in that case, those detailed uh, data will be uh, following here. So from here, you can download CSV file, etc., and uh, analyze based on the purpose. <clears throat> so uh, by adapting uh, big data analysis to those area uh, for it, in this case, a climate mitigation area. A information source comes from official a official entity. So we don't include any media information, but a, you can a, analyze based on like this. Okay. So this is the end of the a, demonstration of this a, rule watcher in case of climate mitigation. So next demonstration, uh, I will show you the plastic situation. Anyway, uh, I'll return this uh, screen to Chie again. Thank you. I will be concluding this uh, this presentation. Then again, I will repeat this. So um, hope hope you enjoyed the demonstration from Masatos. And uh, climate crisis is a transnational and stratified issue. And in this sense, Rural Watcher is a place, we believe, for all sectors, from government, from, um, from market, and from civil society. And we strongly promote this Rural Watch movement, and we are determined to contribute to a better future for all. Uh, thank you for listening. And now uh, we will repeat this presentation again for those who participate from the middle and but the, as Masato explained the demonstration will be different and him will be on plastic so please stay here if you're interested in shall we start from the beginning yes okay so yeah <laughs> it's a bit strange to say this again but welcome to our session and yeah, we really, uh, we are a startup company, Authentic, from Kobe, Japan. And thank you for coming. And thank you for those who stay and listen to our presentation. And before we start, just to repeat important points, I would like to strengthen that you can put your questions in the chat of mine or Masato's, if you have any. And you can click the main screen to make it bigger for your convenience. And our booth location is behind you in the coastal stage. So you can visit us freely after the session in 10 minutes. So I will start giving a brief introduction of what our service is and Masato will show you the demonstration. So Rural Watcher to tackle climate crisis with technology and human wisdom. I'm Chie Takahashi from Osintec Global Relations Team, and nice to see you all, and thank you for staying. The climate crisis is our problem. Is it happening somewhere? Maybe you think it's not your business. Maybe you think there is a planet B, but unfortunately, no. This is a worldwide issue affecting all of us here beyond borders. There is no exception. And the cause is us. We have damaged the environment till today and today. So what shall we do from now on? To tackle this, we built Rural Watcher as a solution. Rural Watcher is a web platform where globally citizens gather, discuss, and act upon vital information. Those are collected from all over the world. This is a social think tank, and we are aiming to make it as it is. And what is Rural Watcher? In this service, you can receive updated and primary information on climate-related matters 
we showed here climate mitigation, but also we have adaptation, biodiversity, circular economy, East investment, and so on. And one is human rights, just corporate human rights or supply chains, or <clears throat> excuse me, every day from those such as governmental bodies and NGOs. And all those data are collected by automated program, and they are analyzed and visualized in one format which means however the website seems, and if the website seems too difficult to understand where to dig in, I, this here in Rural Watcher, it's all visualized in one format, it's clear. And currently we have 500 plus information coverages, including governmental bodies, parliament and Congress, UN bodies, major NGOs in the world, initiatives, funds, etc. And we have stored 400,000 plus articles already in our database, including minutes, press releases, um, Congress meetings, announcements, and so on. And it's all translated to English, whatever the, the previous articles were. And it is customizable for your own needs because we think it's really important because you all have different motivations to visit our service and look for the right information so it could be issue based it could be keyword based within the issue you want to dig in or it could be organization based it's all customizable and we offer also a variety of analysis functions suitable for your strategy for those people mentioned here and masato will show you later by using this english in english sized and issue-based, already focused information source, you can save 90% of the manual research tasks. And we have a uniqueness here. Uh, we have open strategy, which means our data source is 100% open to you. And the source coverage is constantly improving in collaboration with our users, researchers, and citizens. And we have duality, although our system is based on the latest technology. We also build original thesaurus and intelligence growers. And we don't include media information within. We don't accept capital except social to guarantee our neutrality. So we are rural watchers and who's next? So why rural watcher for NGOs? I will give a little bit of a summary. Why is this beneficial? You can collect information effectively for advocacy, especially for the evidence-based policy making, which is getting popular recently. And you can reduce manual work, which means you can reduce cost, save your precious budget. You can enhance social impact by connecting with others, because we are going to Glasgow COP26 face-to-face -to -face tomorrow and bring back more citizens to collaborate. And finally, for enterprises, you can collect reliable information for companies' environmental duty such as climate disclosure, such as ESG investment. Let's make those risks to be an opportunity. You can have your own control also by using technology, not relying on consultant services. It differentiates you from others, one step further and faster. And of course, we offer a secured and closed environment, just to mention a few. So let us show you the actual screen of Rural Watcher. Okay, now I'm showing the actual rural watcher screen. Can you see this yes, screen? Visible. Okay. Mm. So uh, this is rural watcher. Uh, different. Uh, the feature of the uh, rural watcher is uh, those themes. Uh, and if you are interested in the microplastic, in that case, uh, what I uh, click here and. Uh, those uh, microplastic related information, uh, latest information will be uh, listing up. And like this, uh, this information is from Europe. A organization, na a organization name is European Bioplastics. So these articles related to those following hashtags, policy, marine debris, polymer, chemical recycling, uh, bioplastics, single use packaging, uh, compostable, degradable. Uh, those uh, hashtags are yes. Ah, okay, no problem. Mm. Yes, uh, 
And、uh, this is a summary. And、uh, those are the keywords. And、uh, if there is a, a featured person name,、uh, we can list up a featured place name, featured organization name. So, like this,、uh, we can、uh, collect every information every day. <coughs> Twice a day,、uh, we will collect from all over the world. So, if you are the person in charge of microplastic, in that case,、uh, you can refer the latest information. So, <coughs> when we Wait, the actual information arrives in the mother tongue.、Uh, in case of me, Japanese. In that case, sometimes.、Uh, Excuse me, Masato, your voice、yes. is not heard from the screen.、Oh. Is your voice unmute or mute? Sorry,、uh, can, can you hear my voice now?、Uh, uh, uh, for me, uh, yes. But... For the people from the distance. Hi. Okay.、Oh. Mm. Hi. Uh, yes, uh, this is an actual analytic screen. This is the latest 150 articles、uh, related to microplastics. So, if you'd like to、oh, sorry, uh, dig into,、uh, for example,、uh, Thailand, in that case,、uh, by clicking Thailand, Uh, you can、uh, refer the Thailand actual、uh, latest 150 articles. So,、uh, Thailand is、uh, have a strategy to be a bioplastic hub、uh, in internationally. So, like this,、uh, you can dig into details.、Uh, so, <clears throat> of course, I cannot read Thai language, but、uh, we can、uh, analyze based on the、uh, Machine learning analysis,、uh, machine, machine translation. And、uh, this is the last screen.、Uh, in case of a、uh, plastic situation, if you'd like to、uh, focus on single use plastic, in that case, by clicking single use, <coughs> we can refer the world situation of、uh, single use plastic uh, regulations uh, discussion situation. Like this,、uh, the <coughs> country basis and、uh, timeline basis. So,、uh, of course,、uh, those articles are、uh, exportable、uh, as a CSV format. Like this,、uh, big data will change your operation and、uh, what you can、uh, see、uh, in the world analysis.、Mm. Yes. Okay,、uh, that's the end of the demonstration. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, we will be waiting for you at the, our coastal stages booth. So, feel free to visit us after this session. Yes, and、uh, you can join uh, fr uh, from, uh, to Rule Watcher from our website. So,、yes. normally only invitation、uh, by users, but、uh, You can apply also from our website. And thank you for really, thank you for coming. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, especially those who is in Europe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.